In this video, we will learn how to use functions in Linux. We will further develop our management system database and automate processes with functions like sum, count, concat, min, max, first and last. So let's start. In our management system database, we can use the invoices table. This table is appropriate because it has a subtable that is very handy for the presentation. Our subtable invoice items contains columns product, unit price, quantity, and total price. In our first case, we will calculate total sum of the total price column. We will do that by using Ninox building function sum. But what are functions? A function is a block of organized code that is used to perform a task. It can be called and reused multiple times. Many programming languages have built-in functions that you can access, but you can also create your own functions. Today we will learn how to use Linux built-in functions. Previously, we have created our formula fields that we will populate with code now. Let's open our script editor and write code. First, we need to write a name of the function. In our case, sum. The sum function is calculating the mathematical sum of numeric values from an array or a table. Then we open the round brackets or parentheses and inside we need to write parameters or arguments. We need to tell Linux what to calculate. In the sidebar we will choose the right table and the field and this will be a parameters for our function. So we will choose invoice items and the total price. We can save our code now and this will give us a result. That was easy. Let's continue. In the case we have a long list of products and we simply want to know the number of the entries, we will use a count function. Again, define a function by typing its name, open parentheses, and insert parameters by simply choosing them from the sidebar. Great! So, with the count function, we can count the number of entries in an array or a table. Note that with count function we are not counting empty strings. If you would like to count empty strings too, we recommend using the length function. If we want to retrieve additional data connected to this invoice, we can use a concat function. So concat function will uh, return values from a, an array, a table, or a multiple choice field, one after the other, separated by comma. So now, in this concat field, we have a list of all our products. If we want to find the lowest value of an array, we will use a min function. Inside of the parentheses, we will define the parameter and here is the result. And if we want to find the highest value of an array, we can use a max function.
These two functions work best with an array of numbers or time-related values. With the function first, you can access the first entry of an array. And with the last function, we are accessing the last entry of an array. These functions come in handy if you want to access a record in an array of records. Please keep in mind that the record IDs of the tables are arranged differently in multiple platforms. Therefore, different results are displayed according to each platform. This applies if the array consists of records. OK, so in this video, we have learned what are functions and how to use built-in functions in Linux. More precisely, we now know how to use functions sum, count, concat, first, last, max, and min, what is a great start into the world of coding in Linux. Congrats!